I first met Ted in the lobby of the public defender's office. Ted came in the back door from the alley. He was trying to be joking. He didn't appear to be scared. And I asked him what happened in Utah. And he told me, I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I'm being framed. And as a defense lawyer, I know that innocent people are investigated. I know innocent people are charged. And I knew the evidence against Ted Bundy was very circumstantial. So you're going, well, this guy may be innocent. Ted certainly had a grand idea of himself and a minimization of the charges against him. He used to call it the stupid little matter. And I would go, Ted, there's 10 cops outside waiting to follow you. You know, it's not a stupid little matter. As with many criminals and sociopaths, they have no judgment at all. Ted would try to minimize things that simply couldn't be minimized. So he was jovial and trying to be charismatic. And he wasn't charismatic, he was trying to be charismatic. Ted really, to me, never pulled it off. I became officially his attorney in Washington state, and I also began working with him on the charges in Utah. Ted Bundy returned to Seattle this week under the watchful eye of local investigators who say he is a person of interest in a grisly string of abductions and murders dating back to 1971. Bundy is currently free on bail from a kidnapping charge in Utah. When I first met Ted, my strategy was to minimize the public's belief that he was the Ted. Ted knew he was being followed. There was no subtlety to what the task force was doing when Ted was in Seattle. I think that defense attorneys are necessary evils for sure. I don't harbor any ill will for them at all, other than I'm trying to beat them all the time. Keppel called me. He said, I'll never forget, John, this is Detective Keppel, and in this case, the attorney-client privilege shouldn't apply. I'm kind of very more anti-authoritarian then than ever, but it really pissed me off that he would think I would do that. I said very firmly, uh, you're full of I've known John Henry Brown for years. Well, let's put it this way. I would put up with John Henry Brown. Like him? No. I would think that that would be not a proper use of the word like at all.